Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to share a little bit about three coins in Japan. It's becoming one of my favorite stalls in Japan. So if you're interested, do keep on watching. So for those of you who have not heard about three coins, think of it as like a Daiso. So instead of having like 200 yen, like $2 equivalent stuff, they usually have like $3 equivalent stuff, which is about 300 yen. So as you know, Daiso has switched into this format whereby not every item is $2 anymore. They have items that are ranging like $2 and up. So I think it's quite similar for this place called Three Coins. I'm not sure in the past whether or not they used to have everything under the house like three dollars but you know this is what it is right now and i happened to stumble upon a three coin store when i was at himeji oh no i was at kobe so i happened to stumble upon a three coin store when i was in kobe i was basically just browsing around because like i was exploring the city and i chanced upon this store called three coins i was like oh what are they selling because at the corner i spotted some like homeware items and you know how attracted i am <laughs> to like homeware stuff like aesthetically pleasing homeware stuff so i ventured into the store and i think it all went downhill from there on because like i got obsessed with the store and like i basically bought quite a few items on that trip and then subsequently when I was in Kyoto one day, I stumbled upon another three coins and I like bought a few more items from there. So I'm going to show you what I bought from three coins and do a haul for you. So three coins stock all sorts of items. They stock from homeware items to like kitchen supplies to even like toys for children. They have travel stuff. They have like tech accessories. They have like hair accessories, beauty stuff, like everything you can think of. They have it there. I wouldn't say that the stores are massive because the stores that I went to in Kobe and Kyoto were rather small but they do have a wide variety of items there so without further ado I'm just gonna show you what I bought and I have them in this like pleats mama bag over here so as you all know I'm very interested in like homeware items so that's mainly what I picked up I suppose so the very first item I picked up were like these uh, coaster kind of things. I wouldn't say they are coasters, mainly like pot holders, you know, like in case your pot is hot and you don't want it to touch the ground um, or rather touch the table. So this is what it is and it has like little mitts to like carry stuff so you can like do this as well if you want to use it as like a pot holder kind of thing or you can just place it at the base and like put your pot over it so that it doesn't burn the table so these are two for 300 yen so three dollars and then i also got like a square version of it so these two as well as you all know i have an obsession with like dark chocolate color these days so i was so happy when i saw it in this color so i picked this one up so this is 300 yen each for this too so i love that i have like ones from like ikea i bought which is like gray in color so i decided to just switch it out and buy some brown ones and then i also bought this uh two-way hair iron mat because we all know that i straighten my hair almost like every single day so currently i do have my ghd on like a mat kind of thing but i decided to buy another one so this one allows you to wrap your hair curler or hair straightener as well and like you know keep it in your bag if you want to travel with it so this is also 300 yen for this piece and then i got some travel stuff so these are basically just like compression bags. So I really like traveling with packing cubes. I use packing cubes all the time when I travel. I find that it just keeps your luggage very, very organized and just looks neat and tidy and not everything is like spilling out whatsoever. So I bought this clothes compression bag. This is in the medium size. This is actually $5 and it shows you the pricing for like uh, tax free and non tax free as well so you can see that tax free is $5 500 yen and then non tax free is 550 so I'm not sh even sure if I bought like 5500 for it to be tax free so it's just something to bear in mind if you are thinking of shopping at three coins or anywhere in Japan I'd rather you consolidate everything and just buy at one shot so they get tax free pricing for it so this medium one says that it can fit 
20 t-shirts or 6 sweaters so this is just a really nice like compression bag and I got it for 500 yen and then I also got it in size small so the size small says that it's able to fit 10 t-shirts or 3 sweaters so it's almost like half the size of the medium one so the size small is three dollars so this is three dollars 300 yen and then i also got myself this uh, foldable food container in m foldable food container i got two of them actually so it's very interesting because like it can fold down into like a little bag maybe i can just open it up to show you not sure why i'm not doing that so yes it looks like that yeah you can expand it so it looks like that and then it comes with like the plastic lid as well Ugh. i mean i just think that it's very useful if you want to put it in your car because sometimes i like tend to eat outside and there are leftovers and i really hate wasting food so it's just easy enough if i were to bring this around because it's so like compact and i can like just squeeze everything and i can just like compress this down into like a little like baggy over here so that i can put it in my bag so if i have like leftover food i can just fill it up over here so i actually bought two of this because like i find it handy and this one is actually five dollars for one so i got two of this so i'm just going to place this in my car just in case and i think it's silicone based so it's like easily washable as well for those of you who are new here my name is amelia and i do videos on luxury and lifestyle so if you enjoy these kind of videos do consider subscribing click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos and then i also bought these seasoning containers it just looks like that i'm not sure if it will focus so these are also like three dollars each and i just really really like the coloring aesthetic of it is glass so i've already used one to put like some furikake inside and it just looks like that and then on the top you can actually spin it around to the different like hole sizing and the mechanism is just so smooth and so nice so i really really like it and it's glass and this like beigey taupe grayish kind of color so i like that everything just looks cohesive and they all look like in the same like color palette so i love that and i bought two of that actually so this is one that i've already opened and then i have another one because on this trip i actually bought two furry kakes and i thought it would be just great to like store them inside these containers and put them on the kitchen counter and i also bought myself a food vacuum pump it looks like that so it's just a very simple food vacuum pack uh, uh for, sorry a food vacuum pump and this one costs uh 1000 yen it's actually quite pricey yeah this one's about ten dollars let me just open it up let me see if this is what i think it really is so this one looks like that it's just a pump and looks like this so it says that it's a food vacuum pump so i mean i would suppose that if you want to like sous vide your stuff or like just like flatten it down oh my god flatten things down and before storing it into the freezer this is what it's supposed to do however i'm actually intending to bring this for travel because i can vacuum seal all my bags that you know are meant to vacuum seal as well so whilst in japan like previously in may we actually went to the like ramen museum and they gave us like this like baggie to put our ramen in and there was no way that i could like flatten it down unless i burst the entire thing which i did because like i just don't want to store it into my luggage because i couldn't find a vacuum pump to like suck out all the air and i actually oh this one makes noise <laughs> oh there's definitely suction on this so i couldn't find like a vacuum i actually went to ask like uh the cleaning lady for the vacuum cleaner but you know the vacuum cleaner even the pipe is so huge so there wasn't anything to like suck out the air but i just thought this was very useful for travel you know if you want to like suck out all the air from all your like confessionable like clothes this is great so i'm going to bring that for travel actually instead of like leaving it in the kitchen 
And then, what else do I have? Oh, I bought like a trifold compact mirror. Honestly, I don't really need this, but you know, it's just nice. So this one is 500 yen. So i just open it up for you. I thought this would be great, you know, to travel with as well if I ever need one. So it has three different sides here that you can use as a mirror. I think that will be great. And it's kind of light and quite compact as well. So I bought myself a travel mirror. And then I also bought myself a clip over here in this color, in the same color palette because everything was in this color palette in the store. That's what kind of like drew me to the store as well. Honestly, it's not the best condition or best clip in the world, I would say. But I just really, really like the color and like I can clip my hair with it. So that's that so other than the hair clip i also got some like little butterfly clips as well it's not really showing up let me just open this up for you so i got these like butterfly clips as well they are very very cute and pretty comes in like this iridescent kind of color as well so i thought that was just cute and this was, how much was this? So this was 300 yen as well for these four little clips over here. And I actually got two of it. So I got two of that because I just want to do like some hair patterns if I feel like it. I also got myself a cleaning pen. Looks like that. So this cleaning pen is meant to like clean your um, headphones. Because like you know how your headphones can get really really dirty after a while. So it's meant to clean your headphones. I'm not sure if you can see that. So you can clean your headphones with this. And then it's supposed to clean like the airpods as well. And then clean all your like tech device. Like the nook and crannies of your like tech devices that somehow you just can't get things in. So this one, the skin looks like that. So you can dig out stuff. And then there's also like a little brush over here that you can brush things out as well. So I thought this was really handy and it's so tiny and cute that I feel like I can bring this for travel as well and bring it along with me every day. So I thought that was really useful as well. And I think that's everything that I bought as three coins. Oh, there's one more here and this one comes in like a styrofoam kind of packaging. Obviously, it's something breakable like I always do bring back when I travel. So it's just this little like uh, bowls I would say. And it came in like a set of two. Oh no, it didn't. So one of these bowls was 300 yen. So this is $3 each. And it's just very, very simple like bowls in this color that I really like. Intending to use this for like side dishes especially. So that, you know, my meals can be aesthetically pleasing as well. And I just need to remember to tear out all these stickers because it will leave like a sticky residue like if you leave it in for too long and then like after that you get like these white like residue that it's so annoying to get off so yes i'm gonna do that in a while and i think that's all i bought from three coins it's a very very nice store i feel like it's a very good alternative for daiso if you just want to like buy some cheap items and like you want a variety of stuff go to three coins because they have a lot of a lot of aesthetic items as well and i'm gonna leave you here i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll love it if you subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>